Hello, hello. This is our Open Source channel. Welcome again. New episode on Atu, and today I'm going to do a revival on one of my videos. How to add particle effects to a web page using Elementor. Trust me, this time is going to be a much, much easier one and much faster. All right. This is the actual video itself, the old one. And I had a lot of response and many people had problems uh, on how to implement it. All right, this one is gonna be much, much faster. I can guarantee you. So let's dive in and see what we can do. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to create a page. I click on add new or otherwise on the menu here just add new I'm gonna call it particles I'm gonna choose for this uh, tutorial a elemental canvas a totally blank page and I'm going to disable everything like primary primary editor title featured image everything I just want a blank canvas technically so I'm gonna click on publish now I'm gonna open the page so I can see that is a total blank white page now what we can do is this the first thing you're going to do now if you go to plugins then we'll be back on the actual page do you want to add a new plugin And you want to search for granular. Right? It's usually the first um, plugin. It's granular controls for Elementor. Now I have already, as you can see, it's already active. I already downloaded and activated it. So if I go to the plugins, most of the um, plugins are uh, deactivated but I'm going to show you just the activated one so we got the Elementor the free version you don't need the, uh, the Elementor Pro for this you need ground control Elementor also free and that's it really now you can find the controls and the settings for the ground controls under the Elementor tab ground controls okay now we got several options. I'm not going through all of them. The only one I'm going going through is inside the editor options. And then we go to enable particles. So by default comes as no. You want to click on yes and don't forget to save your changes. And really that's all about it on how to uh you know enable the actual the actual uh, plugin to make sure that we can actually add the the, um, the particles code inside the Elementor. So now, if we go back to pages, and I'm going to edit particles, and this time I'm going to edit with Elementor. There we go. Now, the first thing you want to do is to add a section. It could be any type of section. Usually you use particle on a full width uh, section. So I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to say I want a full width. Okay. Then I'm going to click on style. And the first uh, part of the particles I'm going to create is going to be on a solid color. I'm going to use it a black color. All right. And because I already know the size of my monitor, I'm going to choose the, if I go back to layout, I'm going to choose the height of 950. I mean, I know I can go up to 980, but I'm going to say 950. I'm going to 
update the page at the moment. Once it's been updated, I'm going to refresh the page to have a look. Everything looks all right. Don't, uh, don't worry about this uh, white because it doesn't cover the entire screen. The screen is 10, 1080. So if I want to do, say, 1000, for example, I mean, I could do 1000. Let's do 1000. Why not? But you got to remember this number. We needed that later on. Okay. So as you can see now, we go the entire screen black. Now, of course, we want to add the particles. If we go to style, you will see that there is a new option inside Elementor. And that is enable particles. Once you rename the particles, you want to say, because it's going to be the full length, but you got to tell the entire width you want. In that case, it's going to be 1000. Again, you can have a lot less than a thousand, you know, if you want, if you don't want to have the entire screen, you know, the entire black part to be covered. And I'm going to show you later on as well, you know. And here, if you remember from my last tutorial, you got to copy and paste the code. The way you get the code is very simple. All you got to do is click here. And they will come up with the Vincent Garo website where you can actually create your own particles. Now, this is uh, the default. Then it's already made, for example, Nazar. All right. Of course, that's going to be without the logo. Then we go bubbles. All right. Then we go snow. All right. But I'm going to put it on as default. All right. I'm going to now download the correct config JSON. All right. File. And as you can see, in a few seconds, it should start to download. I'm going to show it in the folder. Again, it's up to you how you want to do it. I already got a few of them. All right. Now I'm going to edit with my notepad plus plus and all I gotta do really is let me go back here I gotta select all and copy simple as once you've done so come inside here in Elementor again right click and paste then don't forget to update Let me remove this. So once it's been updated, I'm going to close this for now. Once it's been updated, I'm going to refresh the page. And now we should see the black background with the actual particles. And as you can see, it's very easy and fast. So you don't have to do much really. All right. And again, you can have as many different type of particles you want. You make it and all you got to do is just download the JSON file, open up copy and paste inside Elementor. Okay. Now, if I go back, you want to change the background color. It's very simple. You can choose anything. Of course, you want to make sure that, let me make it a little bit darker. You know, don't forget the actual particles are white. So, you know, you want to make sure that they're visible. You don't want a white background with the white particles. As you can see, even with the green, they're visible, but they're not very visible. Going back, say, for example, you want on top of a image rather than a solid color. All you got to do is let's do this and I'm going to choose the photograph. Let's say I'm going to choose this one here. One of the photographs I used before. I'm going to update. You don't have to do anything else with the actual particles. It's already been done. So all you got to do is refresh. And now we should have the image, as you can see, with the particles on top. I don't know if it's visible. It is visible on the black on the dress here. Let, let me see if I can do something uh, a little bit different here. Let me do an overlay so you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to do a black overlay. Here we go. 
refresh. And as you can see now, the particles are much, much visible, you know, they're much clearer. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, small tutorials and I'm going to see you next time.